My beloved, I call to you now to offer reassurance in this moment of need. It pains me deeply to witness your struggles, though I comprehend the depth of your sorrows better than you understand yourself. You strive so persistently to maintain a brave face, unwilling to expose the extent of your anguish to others. But you needn't hide your vulnerabilities from my sight. Please, unburden yourself before me without hesitation, for I am here to gather up each of your tears within my hands, lifting you tenderly from the abyss of despair. Doubt and uncertainty may shroud your perception like gathering storm clouds, obscuring your view of the path ahead. But my love and presence remain constants in your journey, loyal companions on even the darkest of roads. Lift your gaze from the trials of this world and fix it firmly upon me instead. Allow my light to pierce through the gloom, illuminating the way forward through benevolence and grace. You are wearied by tribulations and shaken by adversity, feeling unequal to the formidable challenges arrayed against you. Your fortitude grows thin and falters. Your will buckles and staggers. But do not lose heart, beloved. I understand better than anyone the searing pain of doubt, fear's cruel bite, and the sheer exhaustion born of relentless hardship. But I have not abandoned you as forsaken and alone to grapple with these foes. My angels stand vigilant at your side, my spirit ready to intervene against every weapon formed to destroy you. When the path seems shrouded and uncertain, trust that I yet see the way clearly to guide your steps. Take my hand and walk with me by faith through the valley's deep darkness, not by sight alone. I will lead you in my righteousness, and the radiance of my glory will be your rear guard. The light of my presence will illuminate your soul from within. Long after the skies have grown dim and starless, you need only learn to kindle its flame and tend its glow. The adversities arrayed against you seem unconquerable in your mortal sight, looming as giants while you remain small and vulnerable as David before Goliath. But do not mistake their formidable appearance for invulnerability. Have I not given you stones enough for your sling and courage to wield them? Stand boldly against the terrors of the night and declare with conviction. You come to me armed with spear and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty, for I have not left you powerless nor without weapons for this battle. Gird yourself daily in the armor I provide that you may stand firm against all the devil's schemes. Wear my righteousness as a breastplate to guard your heart. Take up the sword of my spirit to defend against lies, and carry always the shield of faith which will extinguish all the flaming arrows aimed toward destruction. Held safely in my hands, enfolded securely within my embrace, no evil can prevail to uproot you from the home I have prepared. Shake off the shackles of past trauma that weigh heavy upon your soul, limiting movement and migration toward promises yet unclaimed in abundance before you. The fetters that enchain can also become the instruments of deliverance when yielded up to me for reshaping. As I declarative within my eternal word, behold, I make all things new. What has been twisted, I will temper. What is tarnished, I will polish. What has grown dull and lacking luster, I will restore. Where corrosion has eroded hope's first fragile layers, I will overlay them with gleaming deposits of redemption until beauty emerges from ashes once more. For nothing is beyond repair in my hands, no brokenness too fragmented for mending, no woundedness exceeding my healing balm saturation. The deepest layers of damage buried and boxed within your innermost being remain accessible to me. I know the pain of concealing hurt, of hiding away parts deemed too shameful or too broken for the light of exposure. But there exists no fracture, so severe I cannot set it, no gash I cannot stitch, no scorched earth inside you, inhospitable for seeds of new birth. Let these promises soak down into your spirit, 
seeping into soil too long left dry and cracked beneath the withering heat of condemnation. Allow my words to revive and renew growth entombed beneath heartache's rubble that proclaims only messages of infertility. Lift off the weight of those pronouncements declared over you without my leading. You are unwanted, unworthy, unloved. Such burdens were never meant to be carried alone, and certainly not destined as a permanent garment wrapped around your soul's frame. At a whispered invitation made in the quiet, my spirit will lift this mantle from your weary shoulders and break its chokehold grip constraining your self-perception. For no words crafted in malice against you can withstand the authority of my blessing spoken over your life. Just as light's advent heralds the scattering of all nocturnal creatures that shun its revelations, so my decree exposes shifty shadows, dispelling their power to diminish your identity's brightest hues. Their fading forms dissolve as vapor before wind's breath, but the vibrant colors emerging under heaven's smile remain in you, beautiful as the dawn. Beloved child, you have endured much and questioned long without receiving answers that satisfy. Why sorrow? Why suffering? Why promised hopes deferred or dissolved before eyes that watched wistfully and waiting? Know that I understand the ache of unmet expectation, of anticipating birth while enduring lingering labor. But the appointed season will come when patience has had its perfecting work within you. Eventually, Catharsis, upwelling, release. The relief of transition from seed to blade at last. And in my proper time, the fruition of long-awaited promises will also come to completion. The bud conceived will bloom. The egg nurtured through lengthy incubation will unfurl new wings, and the cocoon of metamorphic change will emerge in breathtaking splendor. Until then, continue yielding yourself to the process with trust in its appointed purpose. Though the crucible glows hot with intensity, allow it to have its refining way within. When the fires of difficulty and delay have finished purifying your desires, you will gleam all the brighter for time spent abiding in the furnace. For this season of contending will not disappoint, should you persist relying wholly on me for your strength, sustenance, and strategy during the long campaign ahead. I am able to sustain you through the wilderness, beloved. Take hold of my grace daily, drawing deeply from its depths the resolve you require for each confrontation between will and weariness. Though your foes seem fiercely formidable and inexhaustible, remember, greater still is my spirit alive within you, transforming human frailty into fortified fearlessness. Unfurl this banner of belief high and proud above the battlefield dwelling inside. Rally around its standard, allowing truth to root itself firmly in your innermost being before engaging the enemy forces, entrenched in subjugating your soul's domain. And when the cruel taunts come seeking to incite fear and disorder in the ranks, when jagged arrows of accusation assault the line of defense, hold fast to this charge I have commanded. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Stand then upon this promise I have proclaimed over you, and proclaimed over all creation from its first unfolding, that every one of my promises proves trustworthy and true. They resound with certain hope across years and lifetimes, never faint or feeble but infused with my spirit's ageless vigor. As the heavens cannot contain the brilliance of my glory, so, too, they cannot confine the reach of my redemption. It streams from my throne in ceaseless abundance, resourcing the vision casters and dream catchers whose sights remain fixed on me. You were crafted in your mother's womb through intricate workmanship that wove together creativity and care, imaginings of your person taking tentative form then substantive shape. But I, the Most High God, the author of life, saw you already complete while you took initial breath. I envisioned you whole, healed, restored, and intimately one with me, before external eyes glimpsed first signs pointing to beginnings. 
My sight scans well beyond present pains to perceive the emerging masterpiece already inked into blueprints your eyes have yet to glimpse. Yet even once beheld through lenses unclouded by deferred desires, this vision unfurled before you may not conform to dreams you determined for how fulfillment should appear. Expectations anchored in temporal longing lack discernment of eternal intention woven into destiny's tapestry. But aligned with my divine design and timing, the cries of your heart will find satisfying answers. Until then, you must trust in the goodness of my character and wisdom of my ways that exceed finite comprehension. For as the heavens exceed the limits of human reach, so my plans for you surpass the bounds of present understanding. Herein lies the invitation to deeper intimacy with me, to release perceived rights, to control the outcomes of another's story, and yield it fully into my hands as skilled author and finisher of each life journey. Relinquishment brings liberation from the restless striving to secure your life path according to self-determined conditions and freedoms. And in this posture of surrender, beloved, you live out the boldness of belief that my ordering of your steps eclipses in grace the grandest of life dreams self can conceive. The beauty of this blessed assurance will unfold layers further as you entrust your way to me not by compulsion but by affection's choice. For when souls scarce awaken to my loving sovereignty seek first their role in stewarding stories not wholly theirs to govern, deception seduces reason to misconstrue identity and overstep bounds. You may guide with humble care, give of yourself in compassion, and model truth by integrity and in action, all crucial acts of virtuous influence. Yet only I remain qualified to ultimately determine the time and means through which another's redemption ripens from verdant shoot to fruit-filled vine, and in due season growth will testify to seeds sown along the way. Thus I caution restraint in gazes that demand ripening before patience perceives the bounty prepared beneath surface and soil. Beloved, the Sovereign Gardener, alone recognizes proper timing for harvest made ready through identical means of sun and rain alike, shed upon the just and unjust, therefore anchor deepest longings for change and revival in analogous elements that originated creation as we know it, the shared breath of my spirit blown into humankind and beastkind alike. Life winds shape destiny as well they level playing fields. Governing movements bid all arise and assume the stature I intend, not finite minds conceive. For my ways rise higher than limited visions perceive. Pause here with me, beloved. There is grace to behold in simply being, apart from all urgent crusades calling for commission. Will you accept my invitation to set aside angst-ridden striving and anticlimactic worry that your role may prove inconsequential? Consider creation's expanse unfurled in spectacular diversity, and consider the sparrow, whose innocuous presence often goes overlooked by indifferent eyes. Yet even a lone sparrow's seeming insignificance escapes my intimate notice and acknowledgement. Beloved child, how much more do I see and celebrate you? Remarkable wonder wearing my own treasured image. And there exists no arbitrary extra within the borders of my family. To me, you are irreplaceable in your belonging. You are seen, you are loved, you are never alone. My beloved child, for too long the enemy has whispered lies that you are alone, abandoned, and without worth. But know this, you have never left my sight. Not for one moment have I turned my gaze from you. You remain the apple of my eye, the delight of my heart, my precious treasure. Trials and sorrows may come to test your faith, but fear not, for I will be your shield against every arrow that flies by day. My mighty hand shall uphold you, so that even as you walk through the valley of deepest darkness, you need not fear evil. No power of earth or hell can pluck you from my hand once you have placed your trust in me. Come to me, weary one, when adversity leaves you spent. 
I will give you rest. Find refuge beneath my wings when the storms rage wild around you. Nestled close against my heart, my perfect peace shall quiet every anxious thought. The warmth of my love will chase away every chill. I will be your shelter from life's bitter winds. Has someone spoken words meant to cut you down or make you doubt your worth? Pay them no heed, child. The only voice that matters is mine. I say you are chosen, dearly loved, my special treasure. Do not look to man for your validation. Look to me alone. In my eyes you have always been beautiful, even in your brokenness and sin. Let no guilt remain to mar your countenance, my fair one. The price has been paid, your slate is wiped clean. Come to me, beloved, when old wounds haunt you still. Let me speak healing to the damaged places of your heart. I will bind up every injury with tenderness. Where shame leaves its ugly imprint, I will erase it with words of unfailing grace until you remember it no more. I will replace sorrow with laughter, beauty for ashes. The oil of gladness shall flow where once were only tears. Have you lost hope that your prayers will ever be answered? Has it seemed I am slow in coming or deaf to your cries? Take heart, my child. Behind the silence unseen to mortal eyes, ten thousand angels labor on your behalf. I have set them as guardians over you. They heed my voice and watch for every sign to move at my command in your defense. Not one request falls unnoticed. Every tear contained in my bottle, each sorrow recorded in my book, I have planned an answer for your every need long before you give them voice. My timing is flawless even when events seem against you. Wait on me in full assurance. The appointed hour will come. Until then, take refuge in the shadow of my wings. Here sorrows cannot reach you. Let my presence be your sanctuary, my peace your portion. Trust in me through the darkness. Soon you will see my faithfulness. The dawn will break, revealing the light of my goodness. You need not strive to grasp my plans or comprehend my ways. The heavens are higher than the earth, my thoughts so far beyond yours. But know that all things, every disappointment, delay, even desperate days of weeping, all work according to my purpose to conform you ever closer to my image. Herein lies your security. In the furnace of earthly trials, the dross is burned away to reveal the gold, the diamond formed under immeasurable pressure. My beloved is made perfect through suffering. Do not despise these gifts of grace, though painful for a season. One day you will understand and give me thanks. Until then, walk in the confidence I am sovereign over every care. I will lead you in triumph from darkest valley to the mountaintop soaked in sunlight. The weight of this world cannot compete with the eternal weight of glory I have prepared for you, my precious child. You who have believed in me will know joy everlasting. Its fountain springs eternal flows deep and wide as my mercies which follow you all the days of your life. Come now, beloved one, be filled and refreshed in my presence. Lay down the burdens that wear you thin. Unload every care that tries your soul. Take my yoke instead, for it is easy. My burden light. In exchange for turmoil, I will give you peace. Perfect peace that passes understanding. It will stand sentinel over your heart, an unassailable fortress against fear and frustration. You will travel untroubled through tumultuous days. Receive now the fullness of my joy, unspeakable joy that no man can take from you. Not all the dark powers of hell combined can separate you from this love I lavish upon you. Always remember, I go before you to prepare the way. My eye guides your path so you cannot stumble. I am ever at your right hand to steady and uphold you. When you lie down each night, know I have secured your tomorrow. Therefore do not worry about anything, but continue bringing every request and concern to me in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. 
Then my incomprehensible peace, which outshines all understanding, will guard your heart and rule your thoughts. Have I not said all things work together for the good of those who love me and are called according to my purpose? Then you can be confident that nothing, not trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword, not even death itself can separate you from my boundless love. My child, you are not your own, but have been bought with a price. Therefore use your body as an instrument of righteousness, a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to me, for this is your spiritual act of worship. Then, through the renewing of your mind, you will know my good and perfect will for you. Indeed, it was I who formed you in your mother's womb where I knit you, together, with divine skill and loving care. I know you better than you could ever comprehend. Before you drew your first breath, I saw all the days of your life already written and planned out with meticulous detail. My delight is to lead you on a journey of discovering your identity in me. You shall truly know in your heart that you have been made complete, in him who is the head over every power and authority. Yes, my precious one, I have made you flawless in my sight, regardless of circumstances. Therefore lift up your countenance without spot or blemish, and rejoice in your salvation. Only believe, and it will be done for you according to my promises. Come now, the table is set, and the feast awaits. Eat of my bread, and drink the new wine of the Holy Spirit. Taste and see how good I am. Draw near with clean hands and purified heart that you might receive all I have prepared for you. I invite you to draw on the vast reservoir of my glory until you are filled and overflowing with the full measure of my grace and truth, transformed in my presence from glory to ever-increasing glory. This is my heart's cry for you this day, to know me deeply in the power of my resurrection life. Our fellowship is so sweet, Walk with me daily that our oneness grows yet stronger. May my living words take root and blossom in you abundantly as you abide in my love. Bear much fruit for my glory till you are filled with all my fullness. This brings me such joy. Now you have my peace, my beloved one, more than enough to carry you through. Go in my authority, faithfully represented as my ambassador. Shine the light of my truth wherever you go that many will see and believe. Though darkness covers the earth, radiate my glory that draws all men unto me just as I said I would when lifted up from the earth. Soon you will behold my return splitting the eastern sky. But until that glorious appearing when you dance and dine at my table, I have assigned my angels watch over you as heirs of my unshakable kingdom. They accompany you on assignment to enforce my will, my flaming ministers serving those who inherit eternal salvation. Therefore, obey their voice, for they speak my words. It will prosper you and bring great reward. Now move forward boldly on the path of life with renewed vision and vigor. Take hold of the hope set before you, ever looking unto me, the author and finisher, your faith. I have prepared something greater ahead. Only believe and you will receive. Allow me to shower you with blessings from my heavenly storehouse, sanctifying you completely that my goals and desires become your greatest delight. Soon you shall know perfect freedom in my joy and my love which never fails. My beloved child, I see you struggling under the weight of this world. When adversity bears down, stealing your breath, pushing you to the brink of collapse, cry out to me. Call my name and I will answer. I will rush to reinforce your spirit, shielding you from harm. If worry for your children knots your stomach, give them to me in prayer. I will guard them closely, for my love for them mirrors the depths of my love for you. They will find refuge in the shelter I provide. March forward boldly in the knowledge that I will sustain you. Trials may come, but I will fill you with such joy and peace that you will not be shaken. I will be your rock against every storm guarding you and those you love from all that would do you harm. Invite your family into my embrace as well, that I may nurture them with the same gentle care I have for you. For I am a devoted father, and I will never abandon my children. 
no matter what accusations come against you, no matter who speaks or acts against you, my love remains unwavering. I have ordained blessings for your life, plans to prosper you and give you a future filled with hope. My promises are yours to claim, if you walk in obedience to my ways. Fix your eyes on me each new day, positioning your heart to receive fresh insight and wisdom from my spirit. Never bow down or surrender ground to the enemy, not even for a moment, stay alert. For he looks for any distraction or foothold that might weaken your resolve or cloud your memory of the commitment you have made to me. But now, right now in this moment, I call you valiant and bold. I name you victorious and resilient, for the battle belongs to me, and I have already overcome. Your faith remains firm, your devotion stirs my heart. How I love a faithful servant, one who walks in steadfast allegiance to me. So shift your mindset, you are not prey to the enemy's schemes. He stands already defeated and powerless before my might. Lift your head high, for you have overcome as well. Declare with the authority I have given you. I am a valiant warrior for the Most High God, armed with his power and filled with his spirit. I dwell under the shadow of his wing with my family, surrounded by blessings and hidden in his love. Hold tightly to me now, that you may stand unshaken when storms come. For I wrap you round in my righteousness, insulating you from anything that would steal your peace or joy. See yourself as I see you. Virtuous, filled with profound purpose. Regardless of the hurts you faced, hold firm to the generosity and kindness within, for that is your true self. And now, another battle call sounds. Will you answer? Will you fight for all that we have spoken for the promises I long to fulfill over your family and future? Then allow me to align every blessing on your right hand, while releasing from your left all that no longer serves my purpose. Even if some turn from you or withhold their words, let them go. They only distance themselves from their own blessing. Do not cling or mourn over those who pull away. For many are trapped chasing empty things, prioritizing earthly wealth and fleeting fame over lasting spiritual riches. But do not fear and do not waver in your faith. In times of both lack and plenty, I remain right by your side, faithful to sustain you. I am your good shepherd, attentive to your every need. I am your heavenly father, committed to redeeming, delivering and healing you completely. I speak restoration over you even now. Peace for your spirit, joy for your soul. My favor and blessings chase you down wherever you go. Soon prosperity will overtake you, and even former critics will stand amazed. For I am turning the tide in your favor. Yes, you have walked through many dark and lonely seasons, nearly drowning in sorrow, anger or regret. You have felt abandoned, as though your prayers disappeared into a void and my presence was but a fading dream. But now, I break the silence and pierce the gloom to reassure you, I have heard every cry. I have been shield and shelter against evil for you. I hold your life gently within my hands, and never once has my gaze left you. Even when adversity blinded you to my nearness, when pain muted my whispers of comfort, still I remained. For a flicker of faith continued burning within, reminding you of a father who loves you dearly, who sings over you, who guards your coming and going, so when the deceiver returns with lies and condemnation, boldly declare where your allegiance lies. My life belongs to the Lord Most High, and my spirit rests securely in His hands. He alone is my rock and my salvation. Make this your creed, my beloved, cementing it as eternal truth over your mind, will, and emotions. For our covenant love cannot be shaken, regardless of passing storms or trials. Doubt and skepticism may batter at your heart, but remain convinced of my changeless affection. Recall often all the ways I have acted on your behalf, for this remembrance will stir you to press on with fresh confidence and courage. To entertain thoughts of defeat or withdrawal is to believe the enemy's slander over my promises. 
It grants him footholds to steal and destroy all I intend for your good. So plant your feet firmly on the rock of my faithfulness and proclaim for all to hear. I believe in the unfailing love of my God and will trust him absolutely all the days of my life. For his commitment to me cannot be disputed or defeated. Perhaps in recent days you have felt forgotten, forsaken, but know that adversity cannot extinguish the light within you. Only dim it for a season. Fan the embers now. Stir up your faith, engage your strength, awaken your passion once more. Refuse to camp any longer in old hurts, anger, or disappointment. You were created for more than this. Indeed, I have prepared a rich welcome and a place of honor for you in my courts. I am the door, the gateway to life without end. I am your future and your hope. So in confusing or chaotic times, fix your eyes on me above all else. Allow me to guide you forward into breakthrough, according to my timing and chosen path. For though patience may wear thin, I will never grow weary, renewing your strength. My peace is sufficient for you. This is no time to quit or retreat. You stand at the very cusp of long-awaited promise. Embrace fully my presence with you, allowing me to show you the way. Do not hesitate to seek my wisdom before making decisions, and protect the ground taken so that no progress is lost. Remember, the primary goal is not speed but sensitivity to my leadership. Your worth was established at the cross. Cease striving to prove yourself to man. Simply walk the path I set before you with integrity, moving steadily forward, and you will surely finish well. For I have prepared a bounty of blessings worth every struggle along the way. You will reach your destination and look back with joy on all that unfolded, to lead you here, giving thanks for my faithfulness. So lift your head, hope is yours. Though seasons of hardship have carved out valleys of desperation and tried to erode your trust, fear not, for no weapon formed against you will ultimately prosper. When others misread your story and try to write you off as failed and fallen, I am writing your comeback. With my righteous right hand lifted over you and legions of angels assigned to your defense, I declare a new day is dawning. Your petitions have moved heaven itself to action. Divinely strategic intervention is yours. A tide of favor is rising to lift you higher than before. Yes, despite cunning schemes to disrupt and divide, even within the walls of your own home still you clung to me. Against unrelenting pressure to cave in and retreat, still you stood resolute. I see up close the wounds inflicted, the strength it has required. Let me breathe life to your weary spirit again. Allow my justice and vindication to heal your heart, for your enemies sought nothing less than total demolition of your faith foundations. But here you stand, battered yet unbowed. What the world may view as breakdown, I call breakthrough. For still you hold to my promises and make your stance upon my truth. The hard places you have walked through, the injuries you've sustained, these do not define you, precious one. Ruin is not your destiny. While life has battered you severely, I remain your shield and shelter, healer and deliverer, provider and friend. The plans I have prepared for you are good and gracious, filled with hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Adversaries have set traps to ensnare you, hurling accusations, questioning your faith, using loved ones to heap shame and doubt upon you. But hear this, no force on earth has permission to defeat or destroy one who abides in me. Am I not the Most High God? Is my arm shortened that I cannot save? No. I surround you as a wall of fire. I supply your every need from my limitless resources. I heal, restore, and vindicate all who place their trust in me. Even in life storms, even amid the devil's assaults against your peace. Still, you have stood tall upon unshakable ground, refusing to bow, refusing to abandon the faith. And though fatigue may have blurred your sight, causing you to doubt the senses that once grasped my presence so easily, 
I assure you, I remain constant as the sunrise. My affection is unchanged, my grip secure. You need only to steady your gaze upon me again. Yes, you pleaded for some sign or token in recent days, straining to discern the way forward, feeling unable to identify the path of freedom any longer. But has it not stood all along before your very eyes? For I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am your clarity when vision grows dim. I am your wisdom when answers escape you. I am your guide when confusion compromises perception. See me again, your future and your hope. In the raging storm, choose me alone as haven and hiding place, and you will find entrance into breakthrough. For my timing is flawless, my ways perfect. Should impatience threaten perspective or weariness descend like a cloak to smother your joy, I am right here, your perfect companion to cheer your spirit and help you endure. This is no time for surrender. You stand at the brink of long-held promise. All you have prayed and believed for, the altars raised in faith before unseen change could manifest. Suddenly signs are appearing on every side. Barriers collapsing, doors flying open that long seemed welded shut. Acceleration into new extremes of blessing that will leave you breathless. The extent of my goodness leaves no aspect of your existence untouched. Healing will integrate into wholeness. Fractured areas of life and relationship. Tremors of joy and wonder will rock you to the core at the realization of all I am unveiling. The reached for dreams barely dared to be named aloud will shapeshift suddenly into today's reality. Surely you will lift your voice with laughter, tears, and eternal gratitude for the honor of walking with your God. Do not lose heart or draw back in fear, my precious one. I hold you close, redeeming every loss and healing every pain. You will finish your course with joy,